Blood Moon Ursa Luna is one of the newest Pokemon forms introduced into the Teal Mask. And in this video, I'm going to be answering all your questions about it, as well as showing you how to get one, because just look how good it looks. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go over to this location, which is going to be left of the community center. So basically stand in front of it and move left on the road. Once you continue to go left, you're going to see Perrin over on the side over here with a camera and a Hisuian Growlithe. Go ahead and you're going to talk to her. After talking to her, make sure that she goes ahead and takes your picture. Once that finishes, she's going to tell you that you're going to have to capture 150 different Pokemon before you should talk to her again. What this means is that you need to catch 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami Pokedex. So open up the mini map, select X, go to your Pokedex, press A, and then you're going to select the Kitakami Pokedex and then press X to see your progress in that Dex. This is a good indicator of how many Pokemon you have to go around and catch in the region. When you talk to her again, you're then going to have to battle her. Now, just a fun little fact, she's actually a descendant of Adaman from Pokemon Legends Arceus, and his signature Pokemon was a Leafeon, just like her signature Pokemon is. Just look how related these two look. Also, she states that she's from the history region. There's just so much Legends Arceus connection here. Anyway, once you battle Perrin and take out her Noctowl and Leafeon, you'll then listen to Perrin talk about the Blood Moon Beast. After that, she's going to tell you to go ahead and meet her at the Timeless Woods. Now, the Timeless Woods are located all the way on the northeast side of your map. It's a giant forest area. Just go to the entry where you're going to meet her there. While we make our way over to the Timeless Forest, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot and you'll know when we make our next videos. Okay, let's get back to Ursa Luna. We're at the forest now. Now, once we have arrived at the Timeless Woods, you'll find Perrin over there taking pictures of a Poliwhirl. Just go ahead and try to get her attention. Once you do, an Ariados is going to charge at you for absolutely no reason, knocking her down completely and you're going to have to fight it. Make sure you have a Pokemon that's good against a bug poison type. So don't bring a fairy type. Once you beat the Ariados, you're then going to click on the tent and wait for it to be kind of a foggy night. Once you have that foggy night, you're going to be in a different type of game mode where you have to go around and take pictures of 10 different species. Just keep going around and take your shots and make sure not to get too close to the Pokemon. When you get too close to the Pokemon, they will run away from you. After you register 10 pictures of different species of Pokemon, you'll then go and report that to her and a cutscene will play. Now at this point, point, make sure to go ahead and save your game because Perrin will then ask you if you are ready to go ahead and meet the Blood Moon Beast. When you say yes, this is going to trigger you to go into a cutscene and then engage into a battle with the Blood Moon Beast. Don't shoot flash photography of Blood Moon Ursa Luna. It does not like it. Now, for those wondering, Blood Moon Ursa Luna is a ground normal typing Pokemon and its most powerful move is Blood Moon, which is a normal type special attack move that does 150 40 damage and hits at a 100% accuracy. Luckily for you, this move can't hit you twice in a row. Be careful of this Ursa Luna as it does have Calm Mind to boost its special attack. Just for your information, you can't soft reset this encounter because it is completely shiny locked. You will not be able to get this Ursa Luna in shiny at all. So just keep that in mind when you are battling this. So you want to make sure and go ahead and take it down as fast as possible. Go ahead and use any moves that are super effective like grass types or even fighting types. Drain Punch will probably be your best bet if you want to take it out pretty quick and gain health back. But I just use my Leaf Blade. Once you defeat the Ursa Luna in battle, you're going to be able to catch it in any Pokeball you want. So make sure you have the correct Pokeball that you're going to need. I used a Heavy Ball since I like the silverish gray on it and I wanted it to match Ursa Luna a little bit. That's why I used the Heavy Ball. Once you catch Ursa Luna, it's going to be yours completely. Now there's two things that happen after you get your Ursa Luna. One, you're going to head back to the town and you're going to talk to Perrin again. Perrin is going to give you a choice scarf and also give you a Hisuian Growlithe and then head off on her own adventure. Now, something very important that I wanted to test out for everyone to know is that this Ursa Luna can completely breed. I did grab an egg power and bred it with a ditto and it hatched into a Teddy Ursa, but it didn't get any cool move like the Blood Moon down to it and the Teddy Ursa can never evolve up into an Ursa Luna. This Ursa 
Luna is a one-time encounter that you won't be able to get anywhere else in the game. Nothing can evolve into it and nothing can transform into it. This Ursa Luna is a special attacking Ursa Luna and here are some of the moves that it also has on it. When you go to remember moves, it has Moonlight, Hammer Arm, Moon Blast, a lot of cool stuff here. So make sure to take advantage of this Ursa Luna and use it on your adventure. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to evolve our shiny Ursa Rings and Teddy Ursas all the way up into Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Now that you got your Blood Moon Ursa Luna, you should check out this video over here.